Hi, it's Scott from Sumo Outdoor, and this tutorial we're looking at installing Whistler doors and drawers, either surface mount or recess mount. Now, as mentioned, there's two methods to installing Whistler doors and drawers. They're slightly different to other doors and drawers on the market, as uh, they're better suited to the recess mount rather than the surface mount. So uh, I just want to explain a little bit more about that and it's probably easier if I just show you some pictures to start off with. So other doors and drawers on the market have more of a, a larger flange, for a better word, and I'll show you what that is, um, for surface mounting. So doors like Beef Eater, um, Wolf, Napoleon, um, a few of the others on the market tend to have much larger um, flanges <laughs> so as i said this what we're talking about is this bit of metal and you might have a better word for it than me um which uh, extends into the area that you're going to fix them into so in our case it's sumo framework and these are the holes where you fix your screws through to hold it all into position in your framework now other brands have a, a larger deeper um fixing section that goes into the framework whereas Whistler have a shorter one, and that's because they have this large fascia, so they have a very deep fascia. So it's better suited to recess mounting. And I'll just show you again on some other examples. Where's a good example to show you? So looking down on this bin drawer unit, um, you can see it's very thick um, fascia here. I think we're around about 30, 40 mil, um, and the flange on the inside is only about 20 mil. So that means that it can't be fixed into things that are too deep where you lose the depth to the to the metal framework. So let me just show you that back over on SketchUp. So we've got an example here, and this isn't a technical drawing from the doors, it's just an example, but um, it gives you the idea of a Whistler door. And then over here, we've got our example of a Sumo frame opening. So the blue is framework and the green is cladding and that will make more sense in a moment um, but essentially if you're looking at your opening in your sumo framework we want to recess mount the whistler door so before you add any sub cladding cladding tile render any of that kind of final finish or, or sub cladding we're going to add the doors or drawers or whatever you've got to fit in, in that is accessory range first so the reason being is because like we talked about this this section here, this flange on the side is very shallow. Um, so what you do, and it's always good practice anyway when your sumo frame arrives, is to offer everything up into the openings and make sure everything is, is fits correctly. And um, you offer your door up to the opening, push it flush against the, the metal work, the framework. So pushing it straight into, into position. And then if you look around the back of the unit here now, you will screw into the framework, into the flanges, into the holes provided, into the frame. So you can see this blue here, that's the framework. You'd screw directly into that hole and that you do that in all of the positions and that will hold your door into place. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Then after that, then you would put your sub cladding and your final finish on. So uh, this is just a very quick example. We've got a, a nominal thickness of, of sub cladding here, and we're just gonna pretend that we've tiled all the way up to the door. So you tile up to the edge of the door, or clad, or render, or whatever you're, you're doing. All of your surface finishes come up to the door. So that is an example of recessed mount. So you have, depending on the thickness of your finish, um, or the depth rather should we say it's uh, it will be recess mounted and you'll just have a nice thin edge which you can finish off sometimes it may look fine as it is um, but you might want to finish it off with some exterior silicon or some uh, grout if you're tiling um, just to finish the edges off so that is an example of what we mean by recess mounted and that's probably the best way and the easiest way of mounting a whistler door or drawer using a sumo frame system and there is one other way that you can do, but it is dependent on a few factors, which we'll just go into now, which is the flush mount or surface mounting, which is what most people assume that these doors do, um, but they're actually not best suited to it. So let's look at that now. 
Okay, in this example here, we're going to show flush mounting or surface mounting. Um, now, as I said, there's a few factors with the Whistler doors and drawers is that this flange area is very shallow. So what I mean by that is the bit that you're fixing the doors into your framework. And so essentially at some point, if you go too deep with your cladding, this can actually not meet the steel frame inside and you'll be drilling into the cladding, which is not ideal and can cause some issues when you're opening and shutting things and doors could pop off or break your, your cladding as you fix them in. So you want always to fix into the steel frame, not the, not the, the face or the surface cladding. Um, so we're limited by the depth of the flange at the back of the doors. So if you do want to do that, you need to make sure that the cladding you're using is, is thin enough, is not as deep as that back flange. Otherwise, you may come across a few difficulties. So it needs to be quite a, a thin, thin final cladding. And we've got here again, we've got blue is the steel framework and green is your final finish or your cladding. Now, if you are going to flush mount, the great thing about it is it covers all your cuts, especially if you're tiling. Like I say, the downside is that it's very, very um, thin with the Whistler doors. You don't have a lot of room for thicker finishes or cladding. But here we go. So you'd, you'd bring them up to your final surface, push them in tight. And then, as you can see here, if the cladding is too thick, you can't actually screw into the metal frame. Um, so that can be an issue. So you need to make sure that this fascia, this surface cladding is much thinner um, so that you can get in to some metal work so that you can actually screw in from this side into some metal work. Um, if you really really do still want to do flush mount um, and you've got thicker cladding and you're not going to meet the metal work one solution is and it's this not ideal and this is not a recommended solution we always recommend fixing into to the metal work and usually doing the recess method but one thing you can do is there's a product called power grab and bond by ct1 and it's uh, a, a really um, great high grab adhesive and it sticks everything and it sticks it's solid the only thing is it's a bit messy and the inside finish on the doors sometimes you can see the see the uh, glue sticking out but essentially you put a bead of adhesive around the inside frame of the door and then do as you normally would is stick it in but again it's not it's not the uh, ideal solution but it is a workaround if that's what you really really want to do um, and again you just stick the door in position and then let it set if you've got some clamps or something just to keep it pushed tight to the to the face until the adhesive goes off that's a way around that you can do so hopefully that makes sense to you it's a little overview on the two types of fitting whistler doors and drawers that's flush mount and recess mount and as i said before we recommend the recess mount version for whistler doors okay i hope it's helpful and i'll speak to you soon thanks bye